Hey sewing friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patricia. In this video, I'll be showing you how to copy a top that you already own. So go ahead and grab a, your favorite top and let's get to hacking that pattern. So first you will need paper, paper cutting scissors, a measuring tape, a pencil, a top you already own, fabric of choice for stitching that pattern when we are done. So I first folded my paper into two and I also folded my top into two and I placed it at the edge of the folded paper. Now I already have the front traced out because I had some filming difficulties. So this is just demonstrating this part which is the same as the back so I will explain more when I get to the back. Next, I trace out the front neckline by moving the back neckline as best as I can and I connect to the shoulder. Next, I connect all the dashed lines After connecting all the dots or the dashed lines, I go ahead to label my pattern as the front and then I move on to the back. I fold over the paper but before drafting the back, I extend the back neckline and hemline just a little bit to help me with placing the top on the other side. To place my top on the pattern, I go ahead to fold it into two with the back facing out and I align the seam lines to get the center line and place it on the fold of the paper. I align the hemline and neckline with the extended marks I made earlier. Before tracing the back, I make sure I have placed the top on the paper as flat as possible. Then using short strokes, I trace out the entire back pattern. So the armhole is going to be the most trickiest part, but what you want to do is place a f your finger on the seam line and then mark where your finger and pencil meet. So it's just a feel and mark sort of technique that you have to use and once you're done with that you just go ahead and you connect all the dotted marks or the dashed lines just like so i just go ahead to jo join the marks next just like what i did for the front i go ahead to connect all the dotted lines that i have made for the back I also proceed to label my back pattern and then I go ahead to add 5 8 seam allowance all around for the back as well as the front. So for the front I left the hemline and um, this is because I will be including a breast dart to the pattern and that will be in another video. Next, I include my grain lines for the front and for the back as well. To ensure my grain line is straight at the back, I use an equal measurement of 6 inches from the center front. This is also known as um, squaring. You can also use your square ruler if you have that available. So my top has a sleeve and so to trace that out, I place the sleeve on a folded paper. To make sure my sleeve doesn't move, I pin it down to prevent it from moving. Also make sure you know which part of the sleeve you are working on. For me, this is the back. After that, I go ahead to trace out the sleeve. So next, I move on to the armhole side of the sleeve. And just like we did for the bodice of the pattern, you just want to, you know, um, feel for the, the seam line and then mark it. So I go ahead to join the connected lines and then I used double strokes for 
the back just to indicate that this is the back when I am done so just like I did for the main pattern I did extend the um, other side of the pattern so it will help me place the front part of the sleeve on the pattern and then I go ahead to pin it down and I trace all around and I just do the same thing like I did for the back but for the front I included a single notch to indicate the front and then I went ahead to just connect all the dotted lines just like you see me do here next I went ahead to include seam allowance all around the sleeve as well in another video I show you how I include that for this pattern I will make sure to include the link so please make sure to check it out if you are interested in knowing how I did that also please do well to give me a thumbs up if you like this video if you haven't subscribed I will really appreciate it if you go ahead to do so thank you and stay blessed